In today's video, we're gonna talk about a bunch of exciting new Blender add-ons, from amazing natural asset libraries, to animation tools, effects, in addition to updates to popular existing add-ons that you should probably know about in addition to other things. And by the way, if you want to get these news and updates as early as they get public, I recommend you take a look at the CG Vortex YouTube channel, where you will receive 3D news videos on a daily basis. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first add-on we're going to talk about is called Terrain Library. Terrain Library is a massive asset collection, featuring more than 300 ready-made 3D terrains across 5 biomes, which are snow, rock, desert, grass, and wasteland. From what I can see, it is designed to drag and drop cinematic landscapes into your scenes within just seconds, because it seems really fast in addition to not needing complicated setups. And I think this library is great for environment artists or concept designers who want to bring their words to life without the hassle of sculpting terrains from scratch. So, you can pick a terrain, drop it into the scene, and you instantly get a great background environment. And here is the thing. Each terrain mesh is optimized for performance, so you can populate large scenes smoothly, while it is intended for mid to background use, not extreme close-ups. I have to say that the variety of terrains, from jagged mountain peaks to rolling hills, kind of give you a robust toolkit for crafting epic environments inside Blender, and a lot of people like it already. The next add-on is mind-blowing when it comes to natural environments. Arborea is a premium nature asset library, in addition to being an environment toolkit, built by an environment artist for environment artists, which is great news. And here's the thing. It offers more than 600 plus optimized 3D assets, from trees, plants, rock, etc. Spanning styles from photorealistic forest to fantasy flora, which I think offers a lot of diversity. Arborea isn't just a static library. It includes an intuitive geometry nodes based scatter system and procedural generator for things like vine, ivy, snow, coverage, etc. This is great because it's going to help you build stunning 3D environments with ease. You can import assets through the handy browser, then animate foliage in a short period of time with wind presets, or even toggle seasons on the fly. In addition to this, switching a tree from summer to winter is pretty quick, I would say, almost instant. And materials are tweakable with just sliders. You can change color, season, variation, or even adding things like moss. This is if you want more creative control. Still with nature assets, Botanic, the comprehensive tree, grass, and plant library just keeps getting better, with update 7.1.1. With over 1300 nature assets, from models, scattering presets, and even procedural biomes, it is right now the most popular add-on for populating scenes with realistic vegetation. And with the latest version, they actually added more fun stuff, including amazing assets for vegetation and other stuff. Talking about updates, Old Tab Easy Fog 2 is a new and improved version of the popular Easy Fog add-on, which brought with it huge improvements. I think it can really kick your volumetric game up a notch with minimal effort. This update makes adding realistic fog, smoke, mist, and even god ray beams as simple as dropping just a preset and tweaking a few sliders, you know. It comes back with 50 plus procedural volume presets and over 100 ready-made VDB volumes, I mean volume files, including smoke plumes, clouds, explosions, etc. So the new version or the updated version builds upon the first version, adding tons of new presets and polished UI, in addition to having better performance. The next new add-on is called Shape Key Smoother, which is a new specialized add-on for character modelers and animators, which makes it easy to create clean and smooth shape keys while preserving your model's volume. The typical Blender tools for smoothing shapes can shrink or distort the mesh, but this add-on provides a smarter approach. So with Shape Key Smoother, you can sculpt or create a rough shape key, for example, a facial expression or muscle flex, and then selectively smooth it out using the surrounding geometry as a guide. The result is a shape key that is refined and free of lumps or irregularities without losing the original form. It is great for cleaning up corrective shape keys or maybe transitions. 
If a shape key ended up too blobby, I think this tool can even restore lost detail easily. The next one is grade 2. The real-time aura facts pack is a collection of 14 ready-to-use aura facts that you can literally drag and drop onto any model to instantly surround it with dramatic energy and atmosphere. So whether you want a magical glow around your character, or fiery flames, or smoky mist swirling off a creature, or maybe electric sparks dancing around a sci-fi asset, this pack has you covered. You see, each effect comes with a preset with 8K resolution flipbook textures for smoke, fire, lightning, etc. Which I think will give you high quality and detailed visuals. So all you have to do is append or drop the effect onto the object and it will have an aura. These assets are tuned for real-time use inside Eevee. I mean inside Blender using Eevee. And you will have a lot of customization. You can mix textures, change colors and so on. But the goal is speed of course. And hopefully more effects are gonna be added in the next updates. Talking about updates, we have Zen Barbecue Update, the latest version 1.1.0, which refines this tool set even further. So instead of manually adding bevel modifiers or painstakingly supporting edge loops for subdivision, you can use Zen Barbecue to apply lovely bubbles in just a couple of clicks. It works by leveraging Blender's bevel shader for render time bevels in cycles and custom mesh data. You can get full control to set bevel radius per object or even per edge or vertex with real world units like millimeters, centimeters, inches, etc. The next one is interesting too. World Blender 2025 is a new all in one procedural landscape generation suite that can help you create entire worlds directly in Blender. The good thing is that it is built on a robust system of geometry nodes and shaders. This means it enables you to generate detailed terrains from a single mesh in a non-destructive way. You can start from scratch or even convert your own sculpted mesh into a terrain, then apply realistic erosions, terraces, and other geological effects. The toolkit covers everything from shaping mountains in addition to valleys to scattering ecosystems, so you're free to do many things, like creating realistic ranges, alien fantastical landscapes, or stylized terrains. And this is all possible within a modular node setup that you can stack and tweak. In addition to all of this, World Blender 2025 comes with a library of presets and a comprehensive tutorial series that can get you up to speed. HDR Environment Builder is a really interesting add-on that turns your 2D HDR eyes into actual 3D worlds. What does that mean? Instead of just using a static HDRI for lighting, this tool automates the import and setup of an AXR HDRI and wraps it onto a 3D environment mesh, whether it be an interior cube or an outdoor sky dome. So all the complex shader nodes are handled under the hood. We just load an HDRI and adjust the settings in a simple panel. The add-on provides intuitive controls to rotate the lighting, align the HDRI's horizon, I mean with your ground, or scale the environment, and tweak the exposure and even surface bump for added realism. It comes with some built-in HDRIs and presets, but generally I think it works with any AXR file. This add-on called Gamepad Control Rig kinda brings a new level of interactivity to animation by turning your game controller into a Blender animation tool. So with this add-on, you can map any gamepad's buttons, sticks, in addition to the triggers to control almost any property in Blender, from object transformations to bone poses to shape keys, in addition to maybe materials, lights, physics, and anything else. In practice, it means you can control your 3D characters in addition to everything in the scene in real time. For example, you can use the analog stick to rotate an armature, press a trigger to change facial expressions or shape keys, in addition to other things. The system supports various input modes, so you can just press a controller button and click a property to link them, which allows you to do different things. And you can use the Xbox, PlayStation, and other consoles' controllers. Generally speaking, I think this is a creative way to do things. Last but not least, we have ISO Groups. This is a Blender add-on that serves as an isolation mode, or toolkit for complex scenes. So it lets you create custom groups or objects 
and isolate them with a single click. The question is, why do you want that? Because sometimes you need hiding everything else and work on a certain part of the project. This means you can focus on editing or fine-tuning a set of objects without the viewport clutter or accidental selections of other items. For example, you can group all the components of a character or a piece of architecture, then isolate the group to work on it later with peace. Once you're done, you can reverse that and go back to doing what you've been doing. So no more manually hiding dozens of collections or maybe objects just to work on one thing. So this is gonna help you be more efficient and streamline or work with complete focus on just one object or one selection of objects in the scene. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.